Hello, Froggy here, and today I'll be giving you an updated guide on the interdimensional res breach. This glitch lets you reuse a death point in any map region. The interdimensional res breach, or IRB, is made up of three main components. The first one is setting your IRB point, which you just do by dying. The second step is to activate the IRB, and generally we do that by dying while hitting a load zone. As you can see, I'm just jumping into a load from an unusual direction, and now my ghost is back where I had put it. From there, you just need to have some means of resing, and you're good to go. It's quite handy for breaking the box, but that's not all it can be used for. In this video, I'll be going over those three steps in detail, so you can figure those out on your own. To set your IRB point, all you need to do is die. As long as there is ground within 70 meters below where you died, the IRB will work. Contrary to our previous beliefs, this doesn't have to be on ground in the initial area. So it is useful to be able to die in midair. I recommend explosives against a sparrow with low light. If sparrows aren't available, you can also use a grenade launcher while falling to uh, die as well. For step two, you can die to a load by approaching from an unusual angle. And as you can see, our ghost is back underneath the pole from before, since that pole was an entity. It's worth noting that there doesn't need to be any connections between the zones you do step one and step two in. It's not always easy to die to a load. Sometimes the game will teleport you out of the way. To avoid that, you can use a stasis grenade. If that's in the path of the teleportation, you'll die to the load instead. Quite handy for some of the more difficult places. Dying to a load is not the only way to activate an IRB. You can also die to the true edge. Both of these deaths leave you in a strange sort of situation where you haven't quite died as far as the game is concerned, but you're not quite alive either. You can tell it worked because of the gray boxes in the bottom left. For step 3, you're generally going to want to use an auto res. You can find these in most raids and dungeons. They're pretty crucial for when you can't reach the ghost yourself. Most strikes have them too now, but they also have mission end timers. IRB can also function as an insurance policy when you're hitting a tricky load. By setting your IRB points about where you are going to be if you hit the load successfully, you only need to have one of the members of your party make it through. So, see here, I successfully hit the load, but Henry does not. But I can get his res since I'm already in that load. Provided that you're in a private zone going to a private zone, you can sometimes get the res from one zone over. This can be quite handy if it's easy to be outside of the map in one zone, but difficult to be there in another. So, once again, I'm going to use a stasis mode to help die to the load here. And there we go. I am in what's known as a hub zone. As Bachmani enters it, you can see that uh, he appears and he'll be able to get my res. Even though he's in a different zone than I am. You can identify these areas by seeing the title of a fire team member. Once Bach leaves the uh, hub zone, his title disappears, but once he re-enters it, it appears again. 
And hopefully, armed with this knowledge, you can go out and use the interdimensional res reach yourself. <laughs>